people of the interweb. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Lynn. So, uh, we just woke up from another nightmare. Uh, <laughs> I don't like these nightmares. We're already at 50% stress. This is gonna be over sooner than it started. Anyway, I give her a shy little wave. Vaughn laughs. I don't know if I want to impress her or try to hide from her. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. Then again, I never know. So, the hell am I talking about you? Anyway. That's probably why I'm clinging to the side of the kitchen door like a lizard. Well, I mean... It's not like you're a giant door hugger or anything. I mean, that's crazy, right? Ha 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 ha. Oh. <laughs> it's bad enough that I just got out of bed, but I'm still wearing my pyjama pajamas. Shut up, phone. Pyjamas. It's not pajamas, it's pyjamas. Can I get some pie in here now? I'm hungry. <laughs> my hair is all mussed up. Two. I've got a very mussy hairdo, and my pajamas are very dirty right now. Or sorry, darty. My pajamas are darty, and my hair is mussy. Hello, Vone. <laughs> and what's new with you? Jazz is right. You don't look so hot. Uh, oh, nothing really. Just bad dreams. Yes, because that's all, that's all it really is. Yeah. Must have been pretty awful. You look like a zombie. Th thank you. H how is that a compliment? <laughs> Coming from a woman like Vaughn, I think that might count as some sort of compliment. How? Maybe? Is it because of exams? I hear you have your G GCSEs in a few weeks. I actually, so to know what that was, I actually had to look it up because I had no idea what GCSEs were. Over here in America, we've got SATs and ACTs. It could be. It's a little stressful. Gotta be hard, being the smart one of the family. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, I'm not. Not really. Compare yourself to your sister. You're already the smart one. Your dad's a freaking... You might as well call him a drunk. Your mom, I mean, I guess she... I don't know. Is there any flaws with her mom? I haven't heard any lately. You're smarter than me. Yeah, I literally just said this, Jazz. Thank you for agreeing with me. Well, that's not exactly hard, is it? <laughs> High five, Vaughn. No, no, okay. Hey, don't be a bitch. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's not wrong. Jazz tries to give Vaughn a shove, but Vaughn avoids her easily. Being quite heavily pregnant with a round stomach like a cannonball, Jazz can't really counter. All she can do is tut. <laughs> and why aren't you at school, little miss? It's gone nine. Ah, fuck. I'm late. Um, it's study leave. Oh, I remember that. You always get study leave round about the last month of... Year 11, huh? Y yeah. That takes me back. It's been so long, I almost forgot. I, um... I meant to stay at home and study, I guess. Sure you did. That's why I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I don't need to get... Si okay, dressed yet. Before I continue... Imagine a pair of pajamas completely made out of pie. <laughs> it's just like walking around. Um, why aren't you wearing your pajamas? Oh, I am. They're called pajamas. I'm sorry that there's a hole over here. I just got hungry. <laughs> At least I didn't think I did. If I'd known Vaughn was coming over, I might have cleaned myself up a bit. You got a crush on her or something? Well, don't stay up too late. You'll get panda eyes. 
I mean, she's been saying that these people don't care about me, but the only one that shows other shows at all would be her dad. Despite being so scary looking, Vaughn's actually pretty nice. She did let Jazz crash on the sofa for a few weeks after the whole... Oh, so Vaughn's the one that she's... Okay. Okay. So Vaughn's the one that she went to spend that few weeks with. If you guys don't remember last time, or if you haven't seen the last episode, just a quick little bit of a spoiler. Um, their dad gets angry and yells at them for absolutely no reason all the time, and with Jazz, because she's pregnant, it's been happening more frequently, and it got to a point where Jazz just left and went to stay with Vaughn for a bit. As it says, a few weeks. But yeah, that's for those who missed the last episode, uh, that would be why. Or not last episode, it was the episode before that. Then again, Jazz did get knocked up at a party. Vaughn held, her, Vaughn held at her house with all her weird goth friends, so maybe she felt responsible. Whatever. I don't really understand Jazz's relationship with Vaughn, or how they became friends in the first place. But it's not my place to pry. Well, that's very respectable. All I know is Jazz and Vaughn have been friends for almost six years. Not bad. Not bad at all. Vaughn's 27, I think. So they must have met when Jazz was 13 and she was 21. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a bit weird. But they've always gotten on pretty well. That is actually really good. I don't think they're dating, but Jazz likes to make jokes. I'm pretty sure they're nothing more than jokes, but with Jazz it can be hard to tell. Um, I mean, oops, okay, that that's from me moving the, that little speed there, that was from me moving the window. I glance at the bread bin, the plastic bag of war, war batons, half and half is all but empty with only two slices remaining. As I thought, they're the crusts. <laughs> God damn it, Jazz. Why are you doing this to me again? Thanks, Jazz. You see? I totally called it. Thanks, but oh, oh, okay. Well, what if it was just Jazz and she's just being a bitch? You never know. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not hungry anyway. BS. Betting anything very close to now, she's gonna be wanting food. Betting anything. She could just eat her pajamas, though, so there you go. <laughs> I sigh, closing the bread bin with a dull thud. Jazz blinks. Don't you want to eat anything? No, I'm fine. You'll get sick if you don't eat. You're already so tiny. Tiny's cute, okay? Shut up. I'll be all right. Memories of my dreams still linger in the corners of my mind. I'm afraid that if I put any food into my mouth, it'll suddenly transform into a squirming mass of spindly legs. Yeah, that nightmare was something else. Ugh. I still feel sick. I need to get out of here. The kitchen is stifling. I'm actually going to see Susie. Are you going to study there? Together? Pfft. Susie, study, please. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, BS. All right, whatever. Jazz gives me a lazy wave. Bye. <laughs> her free hand resting against the bulge of her belly. She always seems to have on one hand pressed against her belly nowadays. At least she's protective of the child she's going to have. Jeez. Maybe she's trying to communicate with the alien life form growing slowly. What? Did she, did she have did she have sex with uh, like a male green-headed alien character or something? How does that even make sense? Or maybe she's trying to stop it from bursting out. What kind of sci-fi movies have you been watching? That's a scary thought. Even scarier than Vaughn. Well, I sure hope so. 
don't know why, but I'm really, really thirsty. Yeah. Have a good one, Lynn. Don't stay out too late. If Dad gets back and you're not here, he'll go ballistic. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. After two episodes ago, that really wouldn't surprise me. I know. Oh. Okay. I think I missed the first one because that was only 1%. I think I missed the first time that happened. Or I spaced it out. Oops. Because I'm trying to keep track of where my stress levels are and I'm not doing a good job at that. I know only too well. Shut up, phone. I will damage you. Well, actually, I don't need to. Already did. <laughs> my phone's been damaged for a very long time, but yeah. I already damaged my phone a long time ago. So anyway. We are sorry to announce that the train departing from Platform 2 to London Waterloo is delayed by approximately... I heave a sigh and glance at the electronic display board. The train times blink up. Bright orange against black. Susie lives a couple of... Ugh, excuse me. Susie lives a couple of stops away. It should only take five minutes to get there. Give or take. But there's some kind of holdup. None of the trains are running on time. For London, that's actually pretty rare. Really? I mean... I'd assume London would be a pretty popular place to visit, but apparently not. Okay. People always joke that it'll be the end of the world before trains start arriving on time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would totally make sense, I guess, knowing the circumstances now. But the trains and buses in London are pretty punctual. Even when they aren't. There are so many other trains and buses that follow similar routes. It doesn't really matter, doesn't it? I wonder if somebody threw themselves onto the track. When there's a big delay like this, that's usually the case. What? Why? It's a fact of life I've been aware of ever since I was five. That's actually kind of depressing. No kidding! I frown, tapping my foot against the platform. A bag of chip sticks rolls past me. They bounce by breeze. They bounce by the breeze. The packaging glimmers in the sun. Nice. There are enough bins around. Why do people litter? Are they really that compelled to cause petty crimes? Maybe? I don't know. Oh well. It's not- it's got nothing to do with me. Eh. Wow. I glance up and down the platform again. It's a lot quieter than it usually is. I managed to miss rush hour. Okay. The businessmen I'm so used to are already at work. There are just a handful of stragglers like me, mostly dressed in casual clothes. Cool! Most of the pedestrians, miling about, glancing at the train times, seem to be around my age. They're probably in year 11, too. We're all on study leave until the beginning of June. Okay. And speaking of people my age, Lynn, of course. <laughs> we're, like, we're like cursed with Lynn. But of course that's the name of the game, so eh. I see a girl. A very familiar girl. A girl who looks a lot like me, but at the same time, decidedly isn't. She was in my dream last night, watching me with cold and impersonal eyes while I squirm. I really kind of want to look up if these dreams mean anything. Before I like, I, I don't want any spoilers, so I might look it up after I finish the game. I'll probably add it as like a separate video as well, what I found out. But, and I'll just add it to like this playlist. But I, I, I do wonder if 
her showing up, but not like it, it basically ha like she basically has she feels for Lynn. Lynn feels for Lynn. I, I I wonder if that really if that like means something. It might, knowing a lot of dream meanings and how funky they can be sometimes. I wonder. I really do. She looks tidy and presentable. As per usual, her black hair is neat and straight. She's wearing casual clothes, but she manages to make them look sophisticated, like a model in a fashion magazine. I wonder how expensive her clothes are. I don't know. They probably cost much, much more than mine. I'm pretty sure you said yours were handy... <laughs> Handy downs, yes. Hand me downs from your sister, so I'm pretty dang sure, yeah, they're more expensive. <laughs> Lynn catches me staring and blinks. She looks at me, tilting her head to one side. Is she going to come over? Does she want to say hello? I hope she doesn't. Oh, come on! Come on, Lynn, be nice! I'd rather swallow a sewing needle than speak to her. Wow, Lynn, you're just a bitch. What the hell? I never talked to Lynn in school. I certainly don't want to talk to her outside of it. Why is she at the train station at this time anyway? She doesn't have any friends to visit. I know because she's been in the same form group as me since year seven. Maybe Miss Madley thought we'd get along, since we look so similar. And I've never seen her talk to anyone. Hmm. Interesting. She just sits by herself, staring out into space. Not that she seems to mind. What a weird girl. I really can't stand her. Oh, come on, Lynn. Be nice. In fact, I think I hate her. Why? What did she ever do to you? She's not like those guys who are just like fucking perverts. But I've said that already, haven't I? I don't think so. Have you? I'll have to rewatch the footage and just see if she has. Ugh, I just can't believe it. What? Susie sits on the edge of her bed, clutching a pink, heart-shaped pillow tightly to her chest. Susie's chest is bigger than mine. Maybe that's why she's so popular. Sometimes when I look at Susie, I can't help but feel jealous. She's not bustier than me. She's prettier, too. She's not just bustier than me. She's prettier, too. Her clothes are nicer. Her parents are richer. Susie's bedroom is really, really cute. Shut up, phone! It's pale, pastel pink with a few stuffed toys lying on the bed and a rose-shaped rug on the floor. Damn. Susie's bedroom is a little childish in a way, but I think it suits her. It must make a perfect backdrop to her li her live streams. I'd imagine. I would imagine. What does she do during her streams anyway? Does she talk in Japanese and do cute dances? You know, when I think of live streams, I think of gaming ones just because, well, this. I don't know. I don't really want to know either. But Susie's expression right now isn't very cute. She's angry about something. Positively fuming. What happened? How could Aki ask me to do that? That's so dis... That's so degrading. Do what? What did he want you to do? Oh, all kinds of things. Like, you know, stuff on webcam. Oh. This and that. Um. Stuff? Susie grips the pillow even tighter. Ugh. I don't know much about online relationships, or offline relationships for that matter. So my advice might not be that useful, but... You're not even old enough, right? Like that matters. Get with the times, Lynn. Oh, okay, that was, uh. 
Am I really that outdated? It's not my fault. It's hard to keep up with the current trends when I don't have a laptop. Not like Susie. That makes sense. Also, I heard a lot of really bad things about, like, dating sites and, like, just simply any kind of site that has to do with social interaction if it's not, like, Twitter or YouTube. I mean, even YouTube has its dark corners, but at least it's not as dark as what I've heard from, like, dating sites. And if what she's talking about is basically that, then yeah, he wants her to strip down. Ugh. That's disgusting. And kind of disgraceful. There is a computer in our house. But it's an old and boxy and from... It's an old and boxy and from the 2000s. It takes forever to start up, and the internet connection is always guttering on and off. Yeah, I've had experiences with that. It's not fun. <laughs> I've only ever used it for homework. Okay. I certainly never use it to try and have an illicit relationship with an Asian boy. Man. Rather. On the other side of the world. Yeah. Jazz would find out. Or worse, Dad. And how embarrassing would that be? But it doesn't sound like Susie wants an illicit relationship either. I don't know much about it, but... Wouldn't doing things on a webcam, um... It sounds a bit sad, doesn't it? Not really. It's actually pretty accurate. We were certainly never taught about it in sex ed. Well, that's kind of because it's more focused on physicality, not... Electronics. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's nobody actually there, so you need to imagine a bit. At least I have a good imagination. Yeah, I mean, if you are if you do live streams, then yeah. Susie throws the pillow to one side and adjusts her pigtails. She strikes a pose. I'm everybody's cute little sister, Suzume. That's her stage name, Suzume? But can you really call it that when she doesn't perform on sta on a stage? Actually, yeah. Nowadays, at least. Her stage is her bedroom. Okay, so is mine. <laughs> I clap politely all the time, all the same. I don't know why. I feel obliged. Well, you are her friend, so that's a very generous thing to do. When you do that, you sound like a completely different person. It's part of the act. Everyone loves it. Susie rolls her eyes. I think she's wearing false eyelashes and circle lenses. Everything about Susie seems a little too big and not entirely real. It's like watching an actress on TV. I mean, depends on the actress, don't you think? I thought Aki was different, but... Maybe he only likes me because of Suzume, too. That's rough, but unfortunately I can actually see that. But he's writing you music. Yeah, yeah, not for free. Guys don't help cute little cute young girls out for free. Well, that's just BS then. They don't? They should. I would. Of course not. People are always thinking about themselves. Not that I'm much better. Well, at least you're able to admit it. A lot of people aren't. I mean, I'm using him too. Susie sighs. There are strings attached. Well, then you're definitely not Ultra. <laughs> you mean you have to do this and that? Yeah, this and that. Susie lies down on her bed and stares up at the ceiling. She must be mussing up her... Okay. But again with the phrasing. What the... I've never heard mussing before. She must be mussing... Okay, maybe it's just the accent. I don't know. Somebody speaking into a microphone with that accent and all of a sudden it sounds like that. Maybe? I don't know. She must be messing up her pigtails. 
but she doesn't seem to care. The cute little sister Suzume is gone. Now it's just Susie. It was always just Susie. I don't mind playing around with him that much, I guess. It can be kind of fun, and I like the attention, but... I don't know. You can go too far. Did he make you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, I mean, I'm on my period. Why'd you want to... Why... Why'd you want to do, you know, intimate things? Susie makes little quotation marks with her fingers. Oh, so she was legitimately doing this when it said intimate things. Okay. I guess there's a limit to how intimate, intimate moments can really be when you're separated by thousands of miles of ocean. When I'm bleeding profusely and my stomach hurts. Ugh. Yeah, um, that makes it even worse. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Uh-oh, um, come on, Lin. Don't tell me you haven't been on your period before. I look down at my thighs. I start to blush. Did he want to see? Yeah, he always asks to see. I said I didn't wanna, but he was so insistent, and I was like, whatever. Come on, girl, you gotta be more... Be more confident about yourself. Defend yourself, for heaven's sake. Dude, seriously, what? If it'll make you shut up, I don't really care. But it's gross, you know? It is. It really is. Susie pulls a face. I felt fine at the time, I think. I don't know. It didn't really feel good, but whatever. He seemed to be enjoying himself, and I told myself it was fine so long as one of us did. But... Susie bites her lower lip. It's very soft and shimmery. Like that? <laughs> she must be wearing lip gloss. Okay. And now you're making me bite my lower lip. God damn it, Susie. <laughs> I don't know. When I woke up this morning, I felt kind of... I can't explain it. I think I can. You probably felt uncomfortable. Dirty. Well, yeah, that makes sense. She holds her so like a bad girl. He made them good girls go bad. <laughs> she, I, I feel like good girls go bad if somebody tried to turn that into like a screamo. That <laughs> I think that would be kind of hilarious, actually. She holds her pillow even closer to her chest. She's still staring up at the ceiling. Her hair fans out about the bed like a halo. I didn't want to do it. So why did I agree to it? Why did I let him push me around like that? Self-conscious, maybe? I don't know. I'm not a pushover. I'm good at sticking up for myself, usually, so... I don't get it. He wasn't even here. It wasn't like he could make me do anything. There was nothing he could have done, really. Maybe you felt like you had to? I mean, maybe. Why'd you say that? Well, he is a lot older than you, and hasn't he been doing you all those favors? He bought you a lot of expensive clothes. Yeah, I guess. That's what I thought, maybe, I think. He did a lot for me, so... Just trying to pay him back. Susie shakes her head. That's dumb. I don't owe him anything. I don't think so, either. Especially not when I'm on my period. No way. Guys are stupid. Hey! I'm a guy! <laughs> I think. No, let me check. Yep, yeah, I'm a guy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I haven't been lying to myself this whole time. They don't understand how girls feel. Shouldn't he feel flattered I'm going out with him at all? Wow, apparently these girls have dealt with only guys who are just 
Either assholes or perverts. Whatever. Susie suddenly gets to her feet. She throws her heart-shaped pillow at her bed. It hits the headboard with a dull thud and falls limply against the pale pink mattress. I didn't bring you here to talk about boring shit like this. Lynn, you're going to be my camera woman for the day, alright? Okay, alright, um, I, I guess. Okay. Uh, well, I, I guess we'll see what her response is, though, next time, because I'm ending the episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!